So you're wanting to learn more bee creations, it seems. Here's another bee design to help you capture those dreams. The Bee Dream Catcher is a simple design and still looks great. It's a perfect creation for anyone and it's easy to make. With their custom unique colors, bringing you vibes of positivity, helping you to inspire with creativity. So get ready for a tutorial that will satisfy your creative needs. Let's be sure to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beats. Here's the list of everything you need to make the Bee Dream Catcher. Making the Bee Dream Catcher, the first thing we'll need to do is to take 5 feet of string and add 12 beads to the string. As you can see, I've added 12 beads to the string using colors red and clear, alternating each one in a pattern just like this, with a clear bead on one end and a red bead on the other. Now that we have those beads on the string, you're going to move those beads toward one end of the string and tie both ends of string together with a square knot. This will bring all the beads together in a semicircle or hexagon. When tying the string together, be sure that your knot is tied securely to ensure that everything stays locked in place and stays together. Now that the knot is tied, you can push those red beads toward the middle to ensure it has the shape of the hexagon. That's a shape with six points. Now that those red beads are pushed toward the center, this is exactly how everything should look. As you can see, I have the clear beads as the points. From here, we should have one short end of string and one long end of string. Feel free to carefully cut off the short end of string since we're only using the long end. Now, let's take the long end of string and run it back through the closest bead point, which is this clear bead here. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. Once you get that string through that bead, you pull it all the way through and this will set us up for the next parts. Now that we have that string through that bead, we can now build around the shape by adding beads to the long end of the string and running that string through each point. Let's go ahead and take the long end of string and add three beads to the string. As you can see here, I'm using this pattern that's two orange beads with a clear bead in the middle. Now you'll take the string and run it through the next bead point which is this clear bead. Watch closely as I guide the string to this bead. Be sure to pull the string all the way through until those three beads that were added stack right into place, making a shape just like this. This is exactly how it should look. Let's go ahead and continue building around the shape to create more points. Again, take the string and add three beads to the string using the same pattern as we've done before. That's two orange beads with a clear bead in the middle. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're going to run that string through the next bead point, which is this clear bead here. As you can see, the string is coming out of this bead point, and we're running the string through the next point. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead, pulling the string all the way through until those three beads that were added to the string stack right into place. Remember to be sure that you pull the string just enough to maintain the triangular shape of each point. Again, let's continue creating points all the way around this hexagon using the same steps. By adding three beads to the string, again using the same pattern, then running the string to the next point of the hexagon. Getting the string through that bead, pulling the string all the way through until the beads stack right into place, creating another point. Don't forget to keep those beads in a tight formation to ensure the desired shape. With the third point finished, we're on to create the next point. As a quick reminder, that's three beads on the string with this pattern, running that string to the next bead point, which is this clear bead here. Getting that string through that bead, pulling the string all the way through until the beads stack right into place. As you can see, so far, this is just like creating a simple candy star. With the fourth point finished, it's time to make the next point. As you see, it's just like we've done before with the previous points, which you should be able to see clearly with this visual reference. Three beads on the string, running that string to the next bead point. As you can see, as I'm guiding the string through this bead, pulling the string all the way through until those three beads stack right into place. Now that we finished the fifth point, we have another point to create. So let's add another three beads to the string. As you can see, the string is coming out of this bead and we'll run it to the next point. So just watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. 
This part may be a small challenge as you may be passing the knot in the string. But once you have that string all the way through that bead and pull it all the way through, those beads will stack into place creating the six point. Remember to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. From here we should have six points and are ready to step up to the next row creating new points for each section. To step up we will take the string and run it through the orange bead and the clear bead point. So just watch closely as I guide the string through these two beads that will step us up to the next row. As you can see the string is going through this orange bead and this clear bead here. Now that the string is through those beads be sure to pull it all the way through and we've stepped up making us ready to add beads to the string and build around this shape as well. So let's go ahead and take the string but this time we'll add 5 beads to the string using this pattern that's 4 yellow beads and a clear bead in the middle. With the beads on that string and the string coming out of this point we'll run that string to the next point which is the clear bead here. Again watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string through that bead and pull it all the way through those 5 beads that were added to the string will stack into place creating a point. This is how it should look so far. Let's go ahead and continue building around the shape, creating more points for each section. So again, we'll take the string and we'll add 5 beads to the string. You'll have 4 yellow beads with a clear bead in the middle. That's this pattern here. With the string coming out of this point, you'll run the string to the next point, which of course is the clear bead. So just watch as I guide the string through this bead pulling the string all the way through until those five beads stack right into place, creating a point. From here, we will continue repeating these same steps when building around the shape. As we've done before, we'll add five beads to the string using this pattern. Once you have those beads on the string, you'll run that string to the next bead point. When you get that string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, those beads that were added to the string will stack right into place creating a point. Again, here's a perfect example of how it should look. As you should be able to see, you may notice that the clear beads act as a guiding point of where to run the string next, making things a bit easier to follow. Just remember to be sure to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation to maintain the triangular shape of each point. Also remembering on this row, it's five beads in between each point. Of course, using the same color scheme or pattern. That's four yellow beads with a clear bead in the middle. As you can see, I've finished the fifth point and ready to create the sixth point of this row. As we've done before, we'll just add the beads to the string, running that string to the next clear bead here. Continue watching as I guide the string to this bead, pulling the string all the way through until the beads stack right into place, creating the desired shape of a point. Always remembering to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. With this 6 point finish, we are now once again ready to step up to the next row. With the string coming out of this bead, we will run the string to the two yellow beads and the clear bead on top. So continue watching as I guide the string to these beads, stepping us up onto the next row. Be sure that you pay close attention when guiding the string to these beads, making sure that you've gone all the way through the right beads to ensure that everything turns out correctly. Now that you have the string through those beads, you'll pull the string all the way through and we've stepped up to the next row. Once again, we are ready to continue building onto the shape by adding beads to the string and running the string through the clear beads which are the guide points of each section until we've gone all the way around the whole pattern creating new points. Now let's go ahead and add the beads to the string but this time we'll have a total of 7 beads on the string, that's 6 green beads with a clear bead in the middle. Here is what the pattern should look like. Now that we have those beads on the string, you'll run that string to the next point. As I've said before, when you get that string through that bead, you pull the string all the way through until those 7 beads stack into place creating another point. Don't forget to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in this desired shape. This is what it should look like. With the first point finished, let's continue creating more points around this pattern. As we've done before, we'll add 7 beads to the string, that's 6 green beads with 1 clear bead in the middle. Once you have those beads on the string, you'll run that string to the next bead point. 
Again, watching closely as I guide the string through the speed, pulling the string all the way through until those seven beads stack right into place, creating a point. So continue repeating the same steps, building around the shape, creating these points, until we've gone all the way around creating six points. As you should be able to see, assembling this part is the same and just as easy as the previous points of this project. For this row of the pattern, you're using seven beads in between each section. That's six green beads with a clear bead in the middle, a color pattern that I feel that should be easy to follow and keep up with. As I continue creating these points, Leave a comment below letting me know what cool color schemes and patterns you come up with to create your dream catcher. Hopefully with this visual reference, you're able to see how each of these points are made. As a friendly reminder, be sure to take your time when assembling this project, making sure that you have the correct number of beads and running the string through the correct bead points, pulling the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation, ensuring that the shape of the dream catcher turns out how it's supposed to. With the fifth point of this green row finished, let's continue and create the sixth and final point of this section. With those seven beads on the string, we're gonna run that string to the next point, which is this clear bead. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. And again, once we have that string through that bead, we're pulling the string all the way through until those seven beads stack into place, creating a point. With the sixth point finished, we're now ready to step up to the final row of this pattern. So we'll run the string to these three green beads and the clear bead point as well. Again, pointing out the beads that we're going to run the string through. Watch closely as I guide the string through these beads. Once again, be sure to take your time ensuring that you run the string through the correct beads so that the dream catcher maintains its shape and looks how it's supposed to. Once you get that string through those beads, be sure to pull the string all the way through and we've stepped up to this next row. Now, we are ready to add more beads to the string, running the string to the points all the way around this project. So for this row, we'll take the string and we're gonna add eight beads to the string. As you can see, I'm using the color purple. Remember, that's eight purple beads on the string. When you have those beads on the string, you're gonna run the string to the next point, which is this clear bead here. Watching close as I guide the string to this bead, pulling the string all the way through, and those eight beads will fit right into place just like this. As you can see, this is how it should look. Let's continue using these same steps we've done before when building around this pattern. Remember, we're using a total of eight beads for this row. Then, running the string to the next bead point, getting that string through that bead, pulling the string all the way through until the eight beads fit right into place. So just keep repeating these steps and follow along as we continue building on the shape until we've gone all the way around through each point. As you should be able to see, again, you'll notice that the clear beads act as a guiding point of where to run the string through next, making things a bit easier to follow. Just remember to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation to maintain the desired shape. Also remembering, for this row, it's a total of eight purple beads in between each point, and of course, it fits the color scheme. Continue watching as I create the outline row of the string catcher. Hopefully with this visual reference, you'll be able to see how each section fills up to make up the outline. With the fifth section filled, we're now on to the last section to complete the outline of the dream catcher. Of course, it's the same as we've done before. Eight beads on the string, running that string to the next clear bead, pulling the string all the way through until the beads fill in the section. Now that we've finished the outline, this is how it should look. From this point, you can once again run the string through all of the beads that create the outline of this project to reinforce the structure, bringing us back to the same point. From this point, you'll see that the string is coming out of the clear bead here. What you'll do is you'll take the string and run it through the bead once again. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string through that bead and pull the string through, you'll notice that the string will create a loop for your dream catcher. Feel free to make your loop size to your liking. Once you have the loop size just the way you want it, you can now take the string and tie it together with a knot to keep everything locked into place. Remember to be sure when tying your knot that it's nice and secure to ensure that everything stays together. Once your knot is tied and everything is locked into place, We'll now carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string 
and your bee dream catcher is now complete. And there you have it, another bee design that looks fine and was fun to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bee tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, create the dream, live the dream. Thanks for watching Turbo Beats.